Today is November 24th, 2022, Thanksgiving Day. And what better way to celebrate it than to opening up a new G.I. Joe. Stay tuned. So this G.I. Joe came out in 2000, and it was dedicated to the Navy SEAL trainees out in Coronado. This is uh, back then the uh, camis they would wear. They don't wear these anymore, but um, it comes with uh, a lot of gear. Some they still have, some they still use, some they don't, but uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail on this. Those of you that know me and know that I work at uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Little Creek Base, where most of the SEALs are on the East Coast, uh, I've run into them on a, almost a daily basis when I'm at work and um, did some work with them in the past. And this one is actually dedicated to a buddy of mine that I went to high school with. So Derek Walters is an African-American and he went through BUDS training and currently he is now the force master chief uh, for the navy seals he is the highest ranking navy seal force master chief african-american ever uh, so very proud of this guy we played football together graduated high school together uh, in pennsylvania and currently i think he's overseas right now uh, haven't heard from him in a while we usually stay in touch on facebook but uh, yeah, I'd like to dedicate this one to him, and uh, he has several videos out on uh, YouTube, uh, Navy stuff, um, things that he's done, and where he's at right now. So you can look him up. His call sign, they, uh, they call him Wally, uh, but uh, you can look that up. And um, yeah, I'll post a picture of him in uniform. It doesn't look anything like this, but uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And again, this is dedicated to my buddy, Derek Walters. <music> Okay, so here you go out of the box my version of uh, Derek Walters <laughs> uh, it's interesting they really uh, dirtied up the pants which is kind of cool actually um, in the back definitely a, a uniform that they made Hasbro made just for this because I don't have all the other uh, ones in this cami color and none of them are dirtied up like that which is kind of neat you got the ring out bell I'm sure everybody knows what that is. If you've watched any shows on uh, Navy SEALs, you know what that is. It comes with a set of boots, fatigues. It has a knife here, but no sheath. Thanks again once uh, Hasbro, not thinking ahead. Life preserver, which is also dirtied up, which looks pretty cool. Uh, he's got a scuba fins over here. He's got his mask. His breather and rebreather, I believe, right here. Yep. It says a PT log, that's a physical training log. Um, they don't have individual logs, so this is way out of scale. Um, usually the logs are big enough to have at least four guys on it. Um, this would be maybe two, maybe three, so a little short. Um, they didn't have to put that in there, but again, something new. I don't have one of those, so it's kind of cool. Uh, it's got a knit hat and a boonie cap, which uh, definitely Still in use today. He's got his comms right here. He's got his uh, M16. No longer in use. MP5 looks like. Called a room broom gun. Uh, 9mm. Yeah. Ammo clip. 
I'm assuming that's on there because I didn't see it in the box. And that's about it. Dog tags and vest. Um, a little watch. Should have a dive watch. There you go. I'm just reading off the back of the box and uh, two grenades. So. so, yeah, everything is there. Everything looks complete. Again, no backpack, um, no uh, sidearm, no sheath for the knife. Um, but we'll make it work and we'll add it to the collection. Again, I'll post some pictures up of uh, Derek Walters. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving, those of you that are following me. And uh, stay tuned for the next box opening. And as always, keep on collecting.